Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to save your data into your SQLite database using WPF C Sharp application. In this video, I will show you how to edit or update data which is there in the database and you want to edit it with the help of your WPF C Sharp application. So first of all, I will go to the toolbox and I will take a button from here and I will name this button as in here. First of all, I will name this button as btn update and I will change the content of this button also. So update. Now what I will do is I will just double click this update button and I reach to the code for this update click event. So in here what I will do is I will once again go to my code for this second form and I will choose this save button and I will double click it and this is the code in the save button click event I have shown you in the last video. So I will copy all this code from the last video. If you don't know how to write the code for saving your data, this is what I have shown in the last video. So I am just copying and once again going to my second form and double clicking this update button. And in here I will paste all the code which I have written for the save data. And in here I will not change much this code I will just change this query so I will delete all the query and now I will write a new query so double cloak code and bracket closed and now here query you need to write what so for updating your data you need to write this queries right update and then your table name so my table name in the database is employee info I will copy my table name from here and this is X escalate database by the way and I will paste it here update table and then write set then your first column name in the database so what is your first column name my column name is EID name surname and age these are the values I want to update or edit so one two three four column I have which I want to update so I will write first this EID column name so write update employee set EID and is equal to then write single quote inside that give double quote inside this plus and write this dot your password text box name so what is the name of my pass not password but employee text box name so I select this employee ID text box name I copy the name of this employee text box from here and I will go to the code and I will write this dot EID text dot text okay now I will write comma and once again I will give single quote inside double quote inside plus plus and I will copy this code here I just need to change my text box name so second is my name so I will write name is equal to and then 
this single quote double quote plus and then inside this this and I will copy the name of my second text box name just copy it and replace it here in the same way I will do the same for surname and age write comma surname is equal to single quote double quote plus plus copy this from here to here and I will just copy the name of my surname text field which is surname text and I paste it here one last more last time comma age is equal to single quote inside double quote inside plus plus write this and then take the name of the age text field and paste it here so your query is basically update your table name set your first column name and then whatever value you want to set here that here uh, that you write and then comma your second column name then the value from the text box then the third column name and the fourth column name th then the value from the text box now this query only defines you want to set your data somewhere but where you want to set your data you will write now so after this uh, setting where you'd want to say update your data you will write where so for example you want to update your data on the basis of EID so just copy this EID quote from here to the single quote here before this comma just copy this code and paste it after this where so write where and where EID is equal to your text box so it will delete your data where your employee ID is set in the whatever employee ID is set in your EID text box it will del uh, update your data in uh, on the basis of that text box and once you executed your query we want to show the message instead of save I want to show up dated okay now let's try and run the program it if it works or not so now my program is running I will log in first username and ID password username and password is correct okay and it opens the second form here let's see what data we want to add it so I have these six employee from 1 to 6 and I have these names from 1 to 6 name surname and age so for example I want to change this employee ID 3 data okay so I will write here employee ID 3 and I want to change the data as I want to make this P capital in the name and P capital in the surname also so I will write here and capital P and the age age also I want to change for example 34 instead of this 23 and then I click this update button and your message comes your data is updated but here it will not show immediately you need to refresh your database so just click structure and once again go to your table and now you can see your data is saved whatever you have written here your data is here now 
okay same thing you can do for employee id 4 also so i want to make it bigger the first letter of the name and first letter of the surname also bigger and the age is same for example update data is updated i refresh my table and you see here my data is updated now so the name and surname has now capital first letter and the age is 32 now so in this way you can update your data using WPF C sharp application and your SQLite database so I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now